<sighs> I hate working on this old laptop. I wish there was a way that I could just bring my vision to life. Oh, oh my Fear God. Fear not. I come from the future to save you from the dark ages of design. The future? What are you wearing? Take this, the Apple Vision Pro. Wow, thank you. Whew. Okay, enough goofing off. Let's get serious. In this video, we're gonna see if this thing's actually practical, try to design a logo with it, and test out Adobe Illustrator on the Apple Vision Pro. Now, if you wanted to see a full sort of walkthrough, my initial reactions of the Vision Pro, you can click on the link right up here because I rated that video last week. In this video, I'm not gonna waste your time. We're gonna jump right into Adobe Illustrator and see what it's like to actually practically use the Apple Vision Pro as a graphic designer. Here we go. Okay, so now you're seeing exactly what I'm seeing. Right now we're in a bedroom. This is not my bedroom, but it is a bedroom. These are kind of the apps that are currently available right now for the Apple Vision Pro. They've got more than this. We've got like Jetpack Joyride. We do have Adobe Firefly up there. Unfortunately, they don't have Adobe Illustrator, which is what we need to make logos. What we do have is if I open up my Mac here, we should be able to connect. Oh, oh my God, there it is. Oh, ah! Boom. Okay, so what you're seeing right now is my Mac display mirrored into this virtual reality world. I can make it smaller, I can make it way bigger, and I can kind of move it around. I could even just make it the size of my laptop if I wanted to. This really puts into perspective how small laptops are because that looks absolutely ridiculous now, but I could work like this if I wanted to. So you might be asking yourself, you know, Grayson, what's the big difference here? This just looks like your Mac. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it, it is just the Mac on a bigger screen, but it's pretty freaking cool, huh? Look how close I can get to it. Oh my, I can really touch it. I can even use my trackpad and my keyboard so that way we can actually get full functionality. This is Adobe Illustrator on the Apple Vision Pro. Today, what I wanna do is make a logo for the Vision Pro on the Vision Pro. But let's get started with that. I already kind of have an idea in mind. I think it'll be fun. I kind of showed a preview of this on my last video. Yeah, so far bigger screen is pretty nice. While wow, it's all very realistic and very sharp, it's not quite as sharp as my MacBook. And I'm talking sharpness as in like the details. So like where it says untitled one all the way up there. That is kind of blurry and all the edges are kind of blurry and they're not quite as sharp as I would want them to be, but that's okay. Having the giant screen is kind of worth it. It's a little bit like a projector almost. It kind of reminds me of that. It's hard. Oh, that's way easier to see. Just zooming in helps out a lot. Nice, that looks pretty good. I always like to go down to the smooth tool and just Smooth this buckaroo out. Whoa, not that much. Sweet. Now we have this cool little Apple Vision Pro icon. So that wasn't too bad to make. <laughs> now before we keep making this logo, I kind of want to maybe make my environment a little bit more comfortable to work in because it hasn't been that good. So instead of being in this random bedroom, let's try Mount Hood. Whoa, oh my God. Jeez. The rain. Oh my God, this is crazy. Wow, this is so realistic. Let me move that. What a view. I could get used to this. Let's see what else we can add to make our workflow a little bit more interesting. We got Apple Music here. You can bring this thing right up to you and basically use it like an iPad. Let me grab my notes. Testing the notepad. It really does feel like you're typing on it. I guess it's just because there's a click. Every time you type, it's like click, 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 click. And they get brighter as you get closer to it. I never do this. <laughs> like I never miss. I can type exactly where the keys are. And it's like, there's no question about it as if it's really there. It's pretty wild. Freeform. This is cool. I actually really wish that I had this when I was starting this project because I did want to sketch it out on a notepad, but that's so impossible to do on the computer. Basically what I'm thinking of for this logo is I want it to be the Vision Pro icon. Focus, Grayson. 
This is actually very difficult to draw on. I was trying to make this icon and it's gonna say vision across. The eye fatigue is wearing on me. It is burning into my skull. I don't think it helps that I'm looking at giant white boxes. Oh, no way. Did I just use my mouse for this? My mouse transfers all the way over. I don't know why, but I was not expecting that. This is a lot easier in your hands, to be honest with you. We're gonna use Apple's standard font, which is San Francisco. We're going to object, envelope distort, make with top object. Oh, sick. That looks so cool. Another advantage to the Vision Pro is that it does have a computer chip already inside of it. I think it's got like an M2 or an M3. I think that's better in this computer, but I don't know how much processing power it actually has after it's doing all of this work. So let's go to 3D materials. I'm gonna hit plane. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. My head is killing me. Oh my God. Oh man. My eyes are burning. I also think it might be the line of work. Again, I'm like really like concentrated on making this design. I like there's no way I could do an eight hour work day on that. One thing I like about the Vision Pro is that it is not 3D. For this app, for example, like this is a flat 2D plane. And yes, it is in my like digital space. But look, I mean, it is a 2D plane. This is what I'm trying to replicate. I'm doing a pretty bad job right now. It's on a plane, but it's flat, but it's the icon is popping off. That's what I want to try to replicate. Now I can kind of look back and forth at that. I can see what I'm doing wrong now. So it just needs to pop off like this. Maybe this shouldn't be black. This feels like it needs to be a little bit more of an apple gray. Let's put a drop shadow on this. Maybe this will be my background. Oh, I'm starting to get a headache again. This thing is hard to use. I want to love it, but I'm not sure this is it for graphic design, guys. I'm going to be real honest. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Honestly, it is really difficult to look at this thing. This is the hardest graphic design challenge yet on this channel. I try to use Minecraft as a replacement of Adobe Illustrator. I used an old iMac from 1999. I try to design a poster in five minutes, in 30 minutes, and five hours. I made a billboard in Times Square. None of that was harder than pushing through trying to use this machine for graphic design. It hurts so bad. I have not watched any of those 24 hours straight in the Vision Pro videos, but I cannot imagine. I don't think it's made for graphic design. All I wanna do is make this white, please. One reason why I'm really excited about the Vision Pro is the concept is that you can make whatever you wanna design to scale. So normally you're working on a 13 inch laptop. This one's I think 15 inches, but the second you wanna make anything that's 16 inches, it's now bigger than your laptop screen and you're kind of having to adjust your brain to like think about what's it gonna look like in real life. Whereas in the Vision Pro, what I'm looking at right now must be probably nine feet. I could measure that and I could actually make something to scale. Even if it was something as large as a billboard, I could go out and make that to scale. For example, if I wanna design that canvas right there, I could place this on that and just kind of scale it down to the point where it matched the canvas. Like that would look great as a poster right above the bed. So this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and export this. While that's exporting, if you're new to this channel, my name's Grayson. I do graphic design. Oh, it's already done. Dang it. <laughs> I do graphic design challenges. We do fun stuff. Try to make Photoshop fun again. Just have fun messing around with graphic design. So if you like stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. It mean a lot to me. I'm really trying to grow this channel and make more videos for you. Oh my God, whoa, sick. So there you have it. Here's our Vision Pro logo made on the Apple Vision Pro. Oh, there I am in the mirror. Can I see this in the mirror? That would be crazy. No, I can't. Look, everything stays exactly where I left it. Okay guys, so this is it. I mean, that was the Vision Pro. I'm gonna lift this thing up a little bit. Not too bad. 
honestly. I mean, we got some kinks to work through. The fatigue was probably my biggest problem. It definitely hurt to be working in there even for a little bit of time. But in general, pretty fun. I will say that way more fun than this. I think it's a glimpse at what the future is gonna look like because honestly, just looking at this now, it looks so obsolete. I don't know if this is the future, but I can tell you that things in existing in reality like that, that's definitely the future because that was a wild experience. If you're new to this channel, again, please subscribe. I post every week. I've been posting every week for the last four months, so more videos to come. If you like this, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next week with another video, probably not on the Vision Pro, but probably something different and a little bit more exciting. Although I don't know if it can get more exciting than this. But for now, if you want to watch some more of my content, you can hit this playlist right here with all my best graphic design videos that I made just for you. Leave a comment in the comments what you want to see me do next, what your thoughts are on the Vision Pro. Is this thing going to take over a graphic design? I don't know. We'll have to stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Okay guys, so if you're new to this channel, basically all you need to do is come out here in your backyard, put on your Vision Pro, go to YouTube, and type in, uh, and boom! And there you can see my last video from three days ago where I reviewed the Apple Vision Pro. So take a look at that if you haven't already. I'm just going to sit here and watch this. I'll catch you in the next video.